Hello. So today for our micro practice, we're going to focus on mindfulness and presence and using the body to help us come back into the present. So on the last video I shared, um, I talked about the negativity bias and typically the negativity bias will keep us kind of out into the future of what if this happens or what if this happens or I'm scared if this happens. And typically the, the what if stories don't come from a place of like, what if this amazing thing happens or what if this beautiful thing happens? It's typically uh, a fear-based response. And if you want to learn more about the, the negativity bias, go ahead and watch that video and I'll share more and it will also include a practice. So for our micro practice today, we're going to focus on on um, coming back to presence with the body and with the mind and also tuning into uh, what what I learned from Deb Dana she calls cues of safety and so typically when the negativity bias is in that kind of spiraling out into the future we're not in the present moment we're thinking about what if at some point down the road this bad thing happens or this thing that I don't want to happen happens. And what can help, another way that can help is to come back to what actually is happening. So the first thing we're going to do is just see if you can tune into what I'm going to call a cue of safety. And so that is something that's in your surroundings that either you hear, you see, you feel that gives you a sense of like, I'm okay right now. And like even just for me as I'm sitting here, um, when I bring my hands to my chest, that gives me a cue of safety. When I can hear the birds outside, that's a cue of safety. And then just knowing that the door is shut and that I have some privacy is also a cue of safety for me. So wherever you're at and whatever you're doing right now as you're watching this, see if you can tune into your surroundings and see maybe what you feel what you see, what you hear, there could be smells or tastes as well that give you a sense of like, oh, okay, this is something that's telling me that I'm okay or I'm, I'm safe in this moment. And if you feel inspired, you can also post them as a comment. And uh, I think it can be a nice way to, to hear from others of different cues of safety, which can also give a, inspire us to think of other ways that we can connect with this. And then the next thing we'll do is giving the nervous system some repetitive and rhythmic movement, which again, there's a whole other micro practice on this. Uh, but another way to just become present is to involve the body. So as you inhale, you're just going to lean to one side. And then as you exhale, you're going to lean to the other side. And now you will find the rhythm that works for you. So you might decide you've got a lot of energy and there's a lot of things happening. So you want to go fast or you might feel like, well, I'm really kind of feeling tired and moving's maybe a little challenging. And so I just go a little slower. So there's no right or wrong way. There's no um, specific movement you should or shouldn't be doing. So just follow a rhythm that you can match me or not. And again, as we do repetitive and rhythmic movement, it gives the nervous system predictability and something it can rely on and keep coming back to. And so it, I know what's going to come next, which is and the opposite of a traumatic experience where things feel unpredictable and chaotic and uh, kind of out of the blue. And so by giving our system repetitive and rhythmic movement, we just give the nervous system an opportunity to rest into predictability and structure. And then the next time you come back through the middle, and again, I'll just say that if you're doing this kind of out in the world, you can do this very subtly, like maybe nobody even would notice. You can also do this with your feet or with your hands, one side, the other side. Uh, so it can be something you can do out in the world as well. And so after we've done just a little micro practice, again, tune into three cues of safety. They might be the same things you named earlier. It might, they might be different. So I see a plant that um, makes me happy when I look at the plant. 
and I see lights on my wall that um, are bright and make the space feel really light and it's quiet right now and that also gives me a cue of safety. So enjoy this micro practice and thank you so much for watching.